referral forms. Yeah, um, they're behind the... Oh, sorry, Tess. Tell me you ordered them. I meant to, but... How do we keep on top of the paperwork, Noel? I'm so... Morning. Morning. Um, I'm looking for Mr Jordan. Right, uh, if you take a seat, I'll let him... You, are. Uh... Sam Nichols. Excuse me, are you all right? Has she been here long? No. She's not booked in. Maybe she's waiting for somebody. It's just people usually look up, but she's not. Miss! Miss! You're not supposed to... Mr Jordan. Dr Nichols. This is Dr Nichols, everyone. She's joining us. Tomorrow, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, about that. Could I have a quick word with you when you're free? Uh, no, will you show her through to my office, please? I'll be along shortly. What happened to him? He's a postman. He was being very naughty and doing his rounds on his motorbike, and his bag strap got caught in the wheel, and... He's going to lose that arm. Yes, thank you for sharing that. Yes, I'm very aware of the possibility. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm sure orthopaedics and plastics will have their own opinion. Yes, you're quite right, Mr Jordan. Let them try everything else first. Good luck to him. So, Dr. Nichols. Sam. Sit down. So, how is he? How's who? The postman. Still attached to his arm, thank you for asking. Starting as you mean to continue? You keep speaking your mind. Fearless is good. I'd be looking forward to working with you. I used to read your papers in my bivy at night. <laughs> well, I hope they helped you get to sleep. So, why did you come a day early, then? Well, I was hoping to get out with the paramedics, wrecky the place, if that would be OK. Let's see what I can do. So you're in the army? Yeah. How long are you around? Nine months of coming. Oh, we've got a fella here, he's ex-army. Thanks, big man. Don't get him started, though. You need industrial strength here, muffs. <laughs> oh, um, I need a B&B just for tonight. Um, who should I talk to? Talk to Noel. Two hours I've been waiting. I appreciate that, and we'll get you seen as soon as we can. Yeah, we'll do that instead of playing with kids' toys, eh? Boy! Excuse me, mate. No, I start work here as of tomorrow. Could you put me in a B&B? What? Oh, hang on. OK, nothing fancy. No, that's not my Look, job. How much longer am I going to have to wait? Can you just hang on a second, please? Hello? Look, I want my leg seen to now. Could you just back off a minute, please, mate? Just get me a doctor. Right, here we go. London Road. They're here. Hello, ambulance! In here? Hang on, this isn't what we... Okay, what's going on? I put pressure on, but it won't stop bleeding. It's alright, I've got it. Okay. Oh, arterial oh. bleed. Okay, can you get your hands back for me, please? Okay, is rest slow? He's tacking at 1.30. OK, we need to get fluids in and I need to stop this bleed as soon as possible or he dies. OK, keep your hands nice and hard and pull me firm pressure. But we can save him, but I need to get some stuff from the ambulance first, OK? We'll call the police. I won't have time. Jeff. OK. All right, mate. Could you, uh... Just let my friend pass, please, and then we can try and help you, mate. Is that all right with you? I won't be long. Just let me pass, OK? Thank you. Thank you. OK. Crack on, then. Blood, it clots it. Okay. You're lucky. Lucky. Lucky-ish. One of the perks of being an army doc. Toys civilians can only dream about. He's not going to die then. He's got a chance. That's all. 
Ooh, okay, give me four minutes of firm pressure, Jeff. Right. Sounding a bit wheezy to me. Yeah. Vincent, please. Just tell me what you did to him. Did to who? My brother. He abused my brother. Oh, oh no. We need to get in hospital fast, guys. Thank you. No. Him and the church will get their story straight. Come on, tell me. Thank you. Tell me what you did to him. Just tell me. Take it tell easy. Me. Take it easy. Tell me. Easy. Look, mate, just calm down, right? Oh, 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 oh. Easy, easy, easy. Sam, I need you back down here, please, Lord. Okay, it's elevate this leg. Trying to get some weight. Can you come with me, please, mate? Cheers. Three bandage on. One, two, three. It's all right, stay calm. Are you still with us? Finish with him. I'd say you are. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long until another ambulance gets here? Oh, I don't know, five minutes. Hang on. I need to get into hospital now. Let's press down that police car. Come on. Come on, Nick. Let's get him out! Oh. Oh. Come on, Nick. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, come on, Vincent, stay with me. Okay. This is Father Vincent McConnell. Yeah, no, no. It's 57. He's been served with a kitchen knife. Tess, I'd like to nip out. It's um, Shona Lucas. She left us four of her son. I'd like to return her. Oh, sick in the post. We're very busy. I just want to check that she's okay. Half an hour. Oh, and this is Vincent Walsh. Oh, 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 any idea what triggered the asthma attack, Dixie? No, no idea at all. He was possibly triggered by stress. I treated him with a cellox strip and an Israeli bandage. One more question. Who is she? Who is she? doctor. I thought she was going to start tomorrow. It's a king, isn't she? Oh, she can hear you. Are you going okay? Yeah. Stress. Yeah. She treated with a cellox strip. Thank you. Hello, Vincent. I'm Dr. Zoe Hanna. You're in hospital now. Can you hear no, me? No, don't touch that. It needs to be removed in theatre. We're just checking the bleed is stable. 
which it is for now. Tess, there's not much going on in there. Okay, the chest x-ray, a blood gas and some hydrocortisone. And everyone, let's prep for intubation. Who knows what might happen? Thank you. How did we get out of that alive? Why try it? You know, a nurse could do this. Well, we don't want you using it as an excuse to throw a sickie on your first day, do we? Okay, ready? You know when I said fearless is good? Yep. Well, alive is better. Uh, any word from that postman? They're going to amputate. Go on, say it. Say what? I told you so. You. Yeah, I wouldn't have you any other way, Princess. Hey, you deserve a donut, don't you? Mm. And you. Mm. Right. Let's have a brew, eh, chap? Rusps at 30, sats down to 87%. I thought his asthma was on the mend. Not anymore. Right, we're going to have to move this up again before the arterial bleed kicks off again. Vincent, we're going to move you up to theatre where the vascular surgeons... You know the risks? Yes. Well, I'm not convinced he's ready to move yet. Don't question my judgement of my patient. Go on. Anywhere. Till I make confession. Right now, your treatment is our biggest priority. No, no treatment. If he leaves it upstairs, we need to control the bleed down here until his ass You understand? If he asks us to stop, you're risking your life. Yes, get Joe. You. I just don't well, believe that I'm he's... this is my patient. Excuse me. He wants us to stabilise him so that he can get his colleague in to hear his final confession. What? Vincent, any delay could significantly reduce your chances of survival. Do you understand yes. that? That's him! Two other paramedics. I didn't mean to. That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? Let's hear the excuses. Excuses? Is it because your brother killed himself? You think you know everything, don't you? You know nothing. We were altar boys, Fran and me. Fran was younger than me. Fran changed once Father Vincent had got his hands on him. But you don't. You don't know what happened? What did you do? On the altar. Father Vincent hated it. Whenever he called us, he'd give me a smack. He used to say he'd given up on me, but not Francis. He used to kick me out. Francis alone with him. <laughs> Francis changed. We didn't talk about it at first, but... It's like he killed something inside of him. I should have protected him. Hey. I should have... Made him tell me what happened. But I just didn't think that. I 
I let Francis down then. I can't let him down now. So that's my excuse. You can't go near him. Not like that. I've got no choice now. There's no turning back. I know they're just going to toss me in jail. Just, just give me the to... screwdriver now and I'll get you in there. You don't believe me. Nobody believes me. I do. I do. I believe you. There is no guarantees. But this is your only chance of getting the answers you need. Stay close to me and look straight ahead. Give me your word. No. No. Paul! No. 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 Get out! Don't get too close. Don't get too close. What did he do to Francis? You know I, I Tell can't me. divulge. I used to leave him alone to He did many terrible things to your brother, but he did not do that. No, I could. He fears for his soul, and I believe him. Clear. You go first. Shocking. Just stand back. He's fine. He's under control. Just keep back. Come with us. Yeah, we've got an output. Wait, let's go. Paul McCaffrey, arresting you on suspicion of attempted murder. God, the father of mercy. Through the death and resurrection of your son, has reconciled the world to us. Hold the lift. For the forgiveness of sins and through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace. And I absolve you of your sins. Vascular surgery. Up or down. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Think you'll survive? Who knows? Either way, what we did will be forgotten. Moaning about someone else nabbing all the glory? Sure you weren't in the army? Me? Camouflage makes my backside look huge. Look, I'm um, sorry about arguing with you earlier. It's out of order. I'm eating Jordan at the Vine for a drink. You can buy me one if you like. The Vine? Yeah, it's a wine bar around the corner from, um... But you're not really a wine bar kind of girl, are you? Maybe I'll pop in for one. I'll see you later. Oh, um, I've booked you into a B&B. Ah, you're a star. Ah, no problem. All part of the service. Um, here's the address. And I'm joining your map. Oh, great, thank you. How do I get to the Bull and Gate? Ah, they're kindly letting me buy all the paramedics a drink. Apparently, it's a tradition. Yeah. How old are you? Old enough to take you to the pub, if you can wait five minutes. I'd like to drop my bike off first, if that's all right. No problem. The pub's a short stagger from your B&B. <sighs> Excellent. 